Sabona you create a visionary, Ikamalam, Utembi, Chelezi, Queen Bringer of Good Hope. Welcome to Whispers of Wisdom. We continue. Episode 11. Thresholds of Change. The Dawn of Realizations. As the early morning light filters through the cabin windows, Alex sits in contemplative silence, sipping his coffee. The quiet of the dawn provides a stark contrast to the emotions he experienced during his retreat. Today, he's not just returning home, He's bringing a new understanding of himself and his relationships. Alex packs his belongings into his calm, each item a reminder of the introspections and revelations of the past days. As he drives away from the cabin, the familiar route home is laden with new anticipations. He rehearses the conversations he plans to have with his wife. Each word weighted with the hope of shared future explorations. As the miles unfur before him, Alex's journey home becomes a corridor of introspection. The highway stretches, a tangible metaphor for the journey he's undertaken within himself. Each passing mile prompts a deeper exploration of his conversations with Queen Bringer of Good Hope. Her words echoing in the cabin of his car, mingling with the hum of the road. Alex replays a pivotal moment from his session with Queen, a discussion that had initially twisted a knot of discomfort deep in his gut. Queen had gently, yet firmly, pressed him to confront the real impact of his silence years ago when Nicholas, his best friend, had started down the path that worried him. Alex had seen the signs then, the slow unraveling of Nicholas's spirit as his marriage crumbled. But he had held back his concerns, choosing to support without caution. The landscape rolls by, each tree and bend in the road, reminding him of the different moments with Nicholas. He remembers their last conversation, a casual chat where Nicholas seemed more subdued than usual. Alex had felt a pang of worry, but had dismissed it, reassuring himself that Nicholas was just tired, just stressed. He's strong. He'll get through it, he thought then. A decision he now recognizes as a failure to act. Guilt and shame swell within him as his memories surface. He had trusted in the strength he perceived in his friend, ignoring the subtle pleas for help that had been hidden behind tired smiles and assurances that everything was fine. Alex's grip tightens on the steering wheel. His knuckles whiten with the realization of his passive complicity in his friend's downfall. The pain of this acknowledgement is palpable, like a physical wound reopening. Queen's words come back to him, acknowledging our past, facing our mistakes, and understanding their impact is not just about accepting guilt, Alex. 
It's about learning, growing, and finding ways to prevent these patterns in the future. As he contemplates these lessons, the rolling hills and distant horizons seem to symbolize the vast, often daunting, landscape of his own psyche. He thinks about the emotional affair that followed Nicholas's death, another misstep where he had sought solace in someone who later used his vulnerability against him. This betrayal, though devastating, was a symptom of his unaddressed grief and unresolved guilt. The road ahead is long. And as Alex drives, he realizes that this journey is far from over. Each reflection, each painful admission is a step towards a future where he can be more present, more vocal, and more honest. Not only with the people he loves, but with himself. This drive, this solitude, provides the space he needs to start forgiving himself, to start dismantling the walls his guilt has built around his heart. As the sun dips lower, casting long shadows across the highway, Alex feels a solemn resolve settling over him. He's ready to face whatever comes next, to use the insights gained from his retreat and Queen's guidance to forge a path that is more honest and more compassionate. The road, with all its turns and uncertainties, is a perfect analogy for the journey he has committed to, a journey of continuous self-discovery and healing. As he nears his home, Alex's anticipation grows. He imagines the look on his wife's face, her reaction to his newfound openness. He practices the words in his mind, each rehearsal erasing the nervousness that accompanies the thought of bearing his soul. Pulling into the driveway, Alex feels a surge of nervous energy. The house looks the same as it always does, but for him, everything has changed. He gathers his courage as he turns off the engine, preparing to step into a new role with his family. Upon entering the kitchen, Alex pauses momentarily at the threshold, taking in the familiar settings that now seem to hold a deeper significance. His wife, busy with the evening's meal preparation, turns with a smile that has always been a beacon of warmth for him. The aroma of cooking food, the soft light and the casual cling of the utensils set as a backdrop of domestic normalcy that Alex finds both comforting and at this moment, slightly overwhelming. He approaches softly, his heart beating with a mix of excitement and nervousness. As he joins her by the kitchen island, his hand unconsciously finds the back of the chair, seeking something solid to anchor to. Clearing his throat gently, he starts to share the profound experiences of his retreat his voice softer than usual, tinged with the vulnerabilities of his revelations. I spent a lot of time reflecting on what really matters, my love. You know, the big questions about life and what comes after, Alex begins, his eyes searching hers for understanding. One of the exercises was to write my own obituary. It sounds morbid, but it was actually enlightening. His words 
hang in the air, heavy with the weight of his internal discoveries. He watches her reactions closely. Her face a canvas of changing emotions, curiosity, concern, a gentle dawning of comprehension. It made me realize how much I've held back, not just from the world, but from you, from our family. I've been so guarded, keeping my deepest fears and feelings to myself. The room seems to grow quieter. The everyday sounds fading into the background as Alex's admission bridges the distance that had unknowingly crept into their relationship. I don't want to just exist alongside you and the kids. I want to really be present, fully, even if it means facing the uncomfortable parts of myself. His admission is met with a softening of her eyes, a slight parting of lips as if to speak. But she remains silent, allowing him the space to continue. Writing my legacy made me think about what I'm leaving behind, not in terms of money or possessions, but the memories, the impact, the emotional ties. Taking a deep breath, Alex reaches for her hand, holding it between his as a tangible reaffirmation of his commitment. I want us to do this together to write our stories, our fears, our hopes, to face the uncertainty of life with the certainty that we truly know each other. In that kitchen, filled with smells of home-cooked food and the soft hum of the evening settling in, a new chapter begins for Alex and his wife. It's a moment charged with potential, with the promise of deeper connections and a shared journey ahead, marked not by the fear of vulnerability, but by the courage to embrace it together. As a soft evening light filters through the curtains, Alex takes a deep breath, the weight of his journey resting on his shoulders. He faces his wife, who sits across from him, her expression open yet tinged with a guarded curiosity that mirrors the depth of the conversation. He has never been this vulnerable with her, never peeled back the layers of his soul quite so openly. I've been thinking, Alex starts, his voice steady but softer than usual, about how we live how we handle the pressures of life and how sometimes we forget to really connect with ourselves, with, e with each other. His eyes hold hers, seeking not just to be seen, but understood. His wife listens, her brow frowning slightly as she processes his words. The idea of writing her own obituary strikes her with a um, jolt, a mix of apprehension and intrigue. An obituary? She echoes, her voice a blend of skepticism and wonder. That sounds a bit morbid, doesn't it? Alex nods, acknowledging her fear. It does, at first. But it's more about understanding and embracing the fullness of life, about ensuring we live deliberately, with purpose. He explains how the process opened his eyes to his own fears and desires, how it helped him confront unresolved grief and guilt and pain and shame. 
her fingers laced together, gripping tightly as she considers the implications. The thought of confronting her own mortality, of laying bare her achievements and regrets, stir a whirlwind of emotions. She is scared. Naturally, but also strangely exhilarated by the prospect of such raw introspection. It's not just about facing our end, Alex continues, his voice imbued with a newfound passion. It's about enriching our now moments, making sure that the life we're living is the one we truly want together. He reaches across the space between them, his hands open, inviting. The vulnerability displayed by Alex, so rare, so raw, touches her deeply. She sees the man she fell in love with, who has always been strong, now showing strength of a different kind. His willingness to explore his depths, to admit his fears, and to share his path with her is both daunting and deeply moving. You mean do this together as a way to grow? She asks, her voice a whisper of possibility. The idea of sharing such a profound journey of supporting each other through such intimate revelations offers a glimpse into a deeper connection they might forge. Alex nods, his eyes bright with conviction. Yes, exactly. To grow together. To ensure that as we change, we understand and support each other's evolutions. It could be our way of renewing our vows, not just to each other, but to ourselves. Touched by his sincerity and driven by a surge of affection and curiosity, she takes his hand, a symbolic gesture of her willingness to embark on this journey. Let's do it, she says, her voice steady, a mix of nervousness and resolve coloring her words. Let's explore this path together. The moment feels monumental, a pivotal point in their relationship. As they sit together, the fears and uncertainties about writing their own obituary linger. The moment feels monumental, a pivoting point in their relationship. As they sit together, the fears and uncertainties about writing their own obituaries linger. But so does a sense of anticipation for the deeper intimacy and understanding that awaits them. The journey ahead promises not just self-discovery, but a rediscovery of each other, a chance to weave their individual narratives into a shared tapestry of meaning and existence. As Alex's wife reaches out to take his hand, a mix of acceptance and hesitation in her eyes, the moment feels suspended in time. Will she embrace this journey with him? How will their relationship evolve with these new emotional undertakings? So stay tuned for the next episode of Whispers of Wisdom where Alex and his wife delve deep into the depths of their own past to build a future filled with deeper understanding and connection. And please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. And don't miss out on the transformation of a family reshaping their legacy together. You can be a part of their journey to emotional clarity and relational fulfillment and if there is a part in this episode that has striked you the most in the comments below let's have a dialogue please share what part of alex's 
what part of Alex's journey in this episode made a huge impact on you or inspired you to have some change or make changes in your life. Let's have a dialogue below in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in episode 12. Bye for now.